Hey everybody, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> well, I wanted to thank you all, first of all, for watching my last video because I know that it was makeup, but it was also kind of some real thoughts and hopefully it wasn't too much of a downer. Definitely wasn't intended to be. So if you watched it and commented and all the things, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, the sun is out. I hope you're all doing well and have had a good week. Um, and I thought we'd do some makeup and I know this will come as a shock. We're going to do these. Um, again, I've said this before. <laughs> I've decluttered my makeup, my personal makeup stash and pretty much left with Pat McGrath, V, and a few other pieces. So Viva it is because after all, I need to use it up, don't I? So let us start with a little bit of priming up the face, a little bit of hydration. This is almost an empty, guys. The Skin Nova, they've been talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. They even had a live on it. Um, so I guess reminding us all that it's a holy grail. Well, we just finished it off together, the last pumps. So that is an official, an official empty, my friends. Um, if you haven't seen um, Skin Nova before, here it is. This is what it's like. And on the skin, this is what it's like. Shouldn't have put all of that on one side, should I? Because we need it. Anyway, supposedly the studies show 200% more hydration. If I understand correctly, it primes the skin, helps the makeup go on better, stay on better and just gives you that glow from within. We are gonna start with complexion today, not eyes, because this is gonna be a look anybody could do, very simplified. You know, I got looking at the last YouTube. I was horrified, you guys. I did not like that purple eye after I did it. I enjoyed doing it with you, and I felt like it was a more involved look so that I could talk about the things. But when I saw it, I was like, eh. It was patchy. There were some spots I didn't get on well. And then I did a reel for TikTok and I, or yeah. And I was just like, no, Lori, you are done with the colors and the really bold, bold looks. And I'm not saying you can't do that. It's your choice. It's everybody's choice. You know, you got to keep your vibe and be you. But I decided to scale it back these days and just keep it very, I'm not leaning into my age. I don't want to say that, but I just know what's flattering and what is not. And although I like the color purple, I'm never going that crazy with it again. I use the Vive um, Modern Radiance Concealer. Um, yeah, medium three. That's right. So this is kind of moussey to me, and it can definitely be a full coverage foundation easily. Um, but if you sheer it up with some of the Skin Nova or some of the Skin Dew, it actually looks quite different. So I thought we would add a little bit of the Skin Dew. I want to do this because my skin is just so dry, you know, that I really need that. It helps a ton. So we're going to just mix these together. And I'm going to try to come in a little closer. So I'm not looking for... A ton. Again, this is moussey. It can be pretty full coverage pretty quickly, which isn't a bad thing by any means. If you look really closely, you can see that. Look at all the silver white hair coming in. Again, I cannot be bothered to cover it because if I go dark in those areas, it will just be harder to go lighter. Much easier to go lighter when you have the hair or you like. While I love this concealer, I do hope they come out with a regular foundation, bleh, foundation of some sort. Um, maybe something kind of sheer that's buildable um, because I think that some people would really just kind of like it that way rather than just the thickness that comes along with this one or the moussiness. So it is called Modern Radiance Concealer. However, I don't find much radiance in it for me. I find it to be more matte as far as I'm concerned. 
So today we're going to be using matte products. This is a matte look, just so you know. Now I'm going to move on to uh, tan four, which is quite dark actually, but we're going to use it um, as a contour. So we're just going to come right up in here with three dots down my nose, across here. You have to be careful with this when you've got white or blonde hair up this way because otherwise you get that orange or brown in there and it is not cute, is it? So yeah, so I'm really happy about the progress of my hair growth. The other day I realized that trying to stretch out the washes is not necessarily in my best interest because you need to exfoliate your scalp if it's dry and you need to um, you need to give yourself a scalp massage and, and get your um, scalp stimulated so that it has growth. That's how that's one way for it to grow. And so I have been washing it instead of like once every 10 days or so. And that's about as far as I can go. I've been doing more like twice a week and I don't mind it. Yeah, it's a little bit of trouble. Well, that contouring went crazy right there on my nose, but not to worry, we'll fix it with some lighter concealer that's gonna go under my eyes as well. Don't worry if things don't look perfect here. I've realized something. It is very, very difficult. If you've never done it before, you do not know but it is very, very difficult to do your makeup on camera and see what you're doing and talk at the same time. So don't judge yet because we will work this out. We're gonna take medium two. And this kind of has a pinky peachy tone to it, which is great. We're gonna come right down the center of the nose where I just kind of overly bronzed it there, contoured it. Um, and then we're just going to come along this area here. You know the song and dance, right? I'm so very happy with the hair growing. I can finally flip it out at the ends again. So this last haircut was way too much for me. I won't be going down that road again. No, I won't um, because it was a little too short for me. I like to be able to do at least a small ponytail and I like to be able to flip the ends. So, but right now I'm on a hair growth journey once again so we'll see how we guys i must be a, a worse cook than i ever dreamt that i am the reason i say that is because the kids started spring break like officially this weekend and i'm telling you they are frightened when i say i'm gonna cook something that's how bad i am mm -hmm. they get frightened they're like what are you gonna make uh what are you gonna use they're like you're not gonna make too much of it right they like, they want to do takeout. They'd rather do takeout than have me cook. Is this normal for teenagers or is it just my teenagers? Anyhow, so yes, the chef I am not. Okay, even though we have the tan four and the concealer as a contour, we're actually going to use the modern bronzer. Well, if you've ever seen it before, this is um, tan one and tan two. I like mine a little darker because you could go light-handed in the winter and the fall and then you could kind of during spring and uh, summer if you wanted to get a little more color or if you were fake tanning whatever you can have it darker so yeah I don't want to work too hard at getting it darker is what I'm saying so I'm going to use this angled brush here and I usually pat let me show you I usually pat between the two mostly on this one right now since it's winter time and then we have close enough. I'm just going to go right over the top of the concealer, the concealer slash foundation in this case, just over every area pretty much and down the neck too, because you don't want a floating head. A lot of people are like, well, what do you mean a floating head? Well, We've all seen the pictures, I've been guilty of it, where somebody's put foundation on and their neck is completely a different color, whether they protected their face with too much SPF and their body got tan, or they self-tanned, or else their 
face is too dark and their body's too light. So yeah, I see it sometimes with my clients. They walk in and I'm like, oh, they got a tan. Then they open the robe, like this part of it. And I'm like, okay, so this part is white. This is gonna be a problem or lighter rather because I cannot make someone's body darker. I can only make their face darker. So I prefer they do a fake tan here, protect their face and then let me do a darker foundation. You got it? Does that make sense? Also, last time it was hysterical. I said that I was saving my lip and that you'd have to watch it on TikTok. Wow, that was a lie because I forgot I needed to take the thumbnail and put it on the front of the video. So there was the lip combo. Hello. Okay, now we're moving on to the Sunset Blush um, in Piazza. This is the powder. See what happens when a wet brush gets in there? Yeah. This is not good because then this part right here just doesn't want to take the product. So yeah, this is what we're going to use. You don't have to read anything with the the colors or the labor, labels. I know it all. <laughs> I know it all. So yeah. Just right here above. It's not going to be that much of a big contrast just because Piazza is so close to the bronzer but just a little brighter and I kind of like that for this look. I'm not looking for a really pinky or peachy blush at all. So super pretty. I love this blush and I love it in the blush balm formula too. It is so good. I was talking to my friend Lucy about it the other day how you can mix that with the well it's been all over um, social media but I was doing it way back before that. So are a lot of people um, where you mix the Nova Light liquid highlighter um, with the blush bombs, the different colors. Also, you can mix skin do, and I like to do that too. So yeah, but I do love some, I do love a matte look. I do, I don't mind it. Go across this way, give a little bit of a sun-kissed look. And yeah. Highlighter. This is the powder version, the original Holy Chic um, highlighter. So yeah, now it comes in the liquid light. Um, I have it in Holy Chic and this is also Holy Chic. And again, I love this one. It's really good. Let me show you how pretty it is. Pretty shadow. And this is Noor. It's got that nice chocolate, black, and then a very light gray, almost white. And then it's got this sparkly silver. So I was thinking, I was thinking, which is always a dangerous thing, right? When I'm thinking, I was thinking we could go in with this really light gray. And we could just go right into this area here. Keep it pretty simple, not a lot, just a little. The sun is coming through, guys. So yeah, not much. I did conceal my eyelids a little bit too along the way. Forgot to, to show you or tell you that, I guess. And also I did my brows before and my under eye cream. I use Lush, which I love. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. Not going to do much because it, it is not very gray. It's pretty light. So we're going to go in hmm, with this silver and it's got some shimmer. I'm going to be super, super careful about this. I do not want this to be too intense. That's what I say, but will it be true? All right, T, I'm going to swipe. By the way, yes, still no nails. This is what this shade looks like. I think as I promised myself to get right in here when I'm doing these videos so that you can see. I hope this is at an okay angle. Just using my finger so much easier with no nails and keeping it fairly low, not going up past the crease. So that is the color. It's quite pretty. A little bit of shimmer. The nice thing about using your finger too is that um, 
you can have more control than with a brush in terms of fallout. So I feel like the soul shadows have a little more of a kind of a velvety, kind of a slightly, ever so slightly um, um, creaminess to them. So yeah, super pretty. This sunlight is helping you really see the color, isn't it? And you can just press. You could even, if you were using a brush and you were afraid of fallout, you could obviously spray it with some setting spray first and then put it on and that would help alleviate that problem. Okay, that's the shadow. There's my eye right there. That looks creepy. That's okay. We're not doing a wing today. We're not. I did put a little bit of the V Modern Mascara on. I really like this. Not gonna explain why, because you guys already know what I told you, the reasons why I love it. So we'll just leave it alone. But guess what we're gonna do that we haven't done together? We have done full strip lashes, but we haven't done clusters. So I thought we could do clusters together. Exciting, right? Let's see what happens. The bronzer and just go right under here too. Just to define things a little bit. I said no liner. I didn't say no shadow liner. There's a difference, right? I heard you say yes. The corner lash, I'm using a pair of tweezers. One of the things about lashes, let me hold my hand up here, is that you have to be really, really careful that you don't get adhesive on the tweezers or the eyelash applicator or else the lash and the applicator just won't come apart. They stick together. You've seen me do it before. So you just wanna dip. You just wanna dip this a little bit. Can you see it? At the top. So it's white and it's gonna go clear. If you haven't done this before, I'm just telling you. If you have, I'm sorry. I know you're smart. And then um, you can wait for it to get tacky or not. But I'm just gonna sit it right here like this. And then I'm gonna build my way. I'm gonna grab another one, the very same length, which is the longest one in the pack. This is by Kiss Lashes, by the way. They're the tapered end trio lashes. And then I'm just going to, can you see me? Let me do this so that you can see. And another one right next to it. Um, and then you're gonna wanna probably go a little shorter. So let's grab a shorter bunch here. Is that the shorter one? Is it, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and then we're just gonna go right into this area. You kinda wanna go side by side, definitely. You don't wanna leave much of a gap. And then you've got your corner lash. You can keep going if you want to, but I'm not trying to go too far in. Maybe one more, one more. And then we're gonna leave this side alone and I'll move on to the other one off camera. But here is, I hope you can see this. Here is, all right, so those are the clusters. Um, basically, I stopped right in this area here. I didn't wanna go all the way in. What happens, one of the reasons people don't like strips is they're hard to put on for one thing, but they usually have to be cut to fit your eye. They're usually way too long width-wise. Um, not many people have that wide of an eye. And so um, usually I have to trim them and try to get both even. And then a lot of times they'll still pinch you into this corner and you're fiddling around with it or to lift. I've had that happen. I'm sure you have too. So what's great about the clusters is, is or the individuals, well, I'll tell you what I think of those. These feel very lightweight. You can customize them. You can make this as flirty as you want can do whatever. They usually come in like short, medium, and long. And those are the packs that I would recommend so that you have a variety to choose from, uh, depending on your eye shape and how much uh, lid space and the look you're going for. The reason I don't love individuals is that it takes quite a few of them to get any kind of a result. 
Um, you might as well just use mascara. You would probably get more out of your lash, even if they're tiny. Um, and they also don't have as much staying power. A lot of times you'll see one on your chest or floating around somewhere. Yeah, they just don't have the staying power. Um, you can get like professional lash extensions and they have some really heavy duty glue. And usually if you try to pick those off, you are in trouble. You're taking all your lashes with you. All of them. It's awful and it's very expensive upkeep. So yeah. All right, on to my favorite part, which is the lip. Um, we are going to use, we're going to use one I haven't done, one combination. We're going to use the Modern Lip Definer. This is the shade Rumor. And I will show you what Rumor looks like. This is what Rumor looks like. And then we are going to use a shade I haven't used. This is a limited edition that came out with the whole 90s. And this is Bite. And so I will swipe bite for you. It's a very brown kind of a color. The two are very close together, but there's no lip liner in the bunch that is quite as dark as Bite, except for Tailored, and I used that last time. I keep using it. You could use Bark too, but we're going to use Rumor. I need to use a little bit of her because she's just been sitting there. So on we go. Farmer's been sitting here by my feet. He hasn't barked one time. So disappointing, isn't it? Just pressing this in. This would be good alone. Most of them would be good alone. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Aw, farmer. That sounded sad. Are you sad about YouTube? You want to see everybody? I think so. Ever wonder how companies come up with the names of their lipsticks and their lip liners? I think about that sometimes. I'm like, rumor, tailored, bark. Like, they sit around at a boardroom table and everybody writes names down on a piece of paper and they just put it into a fishbowl and then whoever picks out whatever name, that's what it turns out to be. Like, I wonder about that. Those are some of the things I wonder about when I'm driving the car, you know? All right, on to bite. So pretty. I love this color. I totally forgot about it. On me, it's more of a brown color. We're going to take Rumor again. Just to fine tune this a little. And then we're just gonna take a little bit of this concealer right around here. And just clean up that area a little bit. What do you think? I like this. It's gen it's a very matte look. There is a little bit of shimmer in here. But still, it's matte. Yes. Just when you think you're done, I'm taking some of the modern bronzer and I'm just going to connect my eye with my contouring of my nose so it looks a little more natural. And just go in here with this KJH brush, number whatever. And I like that a little bit more with a little more brown. Brown is so flattering, it's underestimated. I'd love to find a really good brown mascara. The, the Maybelline Mile High, I think that's the name of it, is probably the best brown mascara so far that I've found. But yeah, brown is underestimated. What do you think of the clusters, guys? I really like them. So yeah, and this is the final look. For today. Am I going anywhere? No. But hey, it's all for the YouTube, right? Um, so yeah, I hope you found this positive, informing. Um, I have a happy face on today. No bad, sad vibes, right? Um, we're on an upswing. Um, I did want to tell you one really interesting thing. I shouldn't do this, but sometimes at night when I can't fall asleep, 
I will hit the button on TikTok on the lives. <laughs> Should never do it, but I do do it. And I've seen a few of the same people. And it is, I'm just completely baffled yet fascinated. It's like I can't look away. There is this one man that was on last night that I hadn't seen before. And he was an older gentleman, you know, and um, he came on and he, all I could hear him saying was his voice was really, really low and kind of raspy and kind of monotone, almost robotic. And he just kept saying, thank you for the roses. Thank you for the hot chili pepper. Thank you for the heart puff. Thank you for the cowboy hat. Thank you for the roses. And that's all he said. He just thanked and thanked and thanked. He never had a conversation, never talked about his life, never talked about anything, nothing. He was really panned in closely to his face. You could literally see up his nostrils. And he was just saying, thank you. Thank you. God is so good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so blessed today. And he just, people just kept sending him all these things. And I'm guessing that each one of these equates to money. And he's like, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. And I thought, okay, Lori, let's take into consideration that maybe he's going through hard times. And he already talked about that. And people are trying to help him out, you know, and he found that TikTok is the best way to do it instead of asking family or friends or, you know, he's just, you know, down on his luck. Life didn't go the way he wanted it to go. You know, taking all that into consideration. But he kept saying, okay, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Good night. And pretty soon people are like, yeah, Gramps, go to bed. Good night. But every time somebody would send another rose or another heart puff or another hot red chili pepper, he would just keep stay on because it meant more money was coming. And he could see that, you know, his work day was not done. And he just kept going and going. And I was just like, wow. I was like, how does an older gentleman like that in his 70s find out about TikTok and that he can come on and talk about nothing and make money like that? I don't know how much a rose is worth or a hot chili pepper, but I was just like, wow. And then I found myself feeling really sleepy and I thought, this kind of works. This is something to listen to at bed when you have insomnia or you just want to fall asleep or you just want to be entertained because nothing's on Netflix, you know? I'm not trying to judge. I am not because there's a backstory to everything. And I just told you guys my song and dance last week. Some people might have gone on and said, oh my God, what a pity party. What's she talking about? Does she think not everybody has this going on? There's people that have bigger, worse problems. I already said that. I know that. It was not a pity party. I'm just saying this is so fascinating to me. And I want to know what you guys think because I never saw this on Instagram, but I see it on TikTok. And I know I touched on that a little bit about some of what I'm seeing, but this one really baffled me. So if anyone's got the answer to this, please tell me. All right, time to take a thumbnail. Thank you for being here, for coming back, or for just hopping on for the first time, for supporting me, for listening to watching me goof up, make mistakes, try to rectify them and just talking about V most of the time, right? Um, yeah, it's an obsession, isn't it? But I have to learn to live with it um, until it's gone and then see if I buy it again. Will I buy it again when it's all gone? That's the question. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day, a good week, wishing you all the love, all the hugs, all the positive vibes, all the roses and hot chili peppers and heart puffs and all the things.